this is more of the flooding in Texas. And I'm not even in southern Texas, down by the shore. I'm in northern Texas, in Wichita Falls, and this is the flooding. See how fast you can see that water moving? And there's a log floating in it. And I need to go that way. Let me zoom in. I need to go under there, and I can't because it's flooded. So I'm going to get back up on the freeway and see what I can find. Again, this is flooding in Texas. I've never seen anything like this. Those things that look like bushes are not. They're actually acorn and pecan trees. The itsy bitsy spider spun a weary web. Someone hiked through it and it landed on its head. The hands came up and flung it all about. The itsy bitsy spider is dead, there is no doubt. Just kidding. I'm watching it in amazement and thought I'd sing you a weird song I wrote. Bye. Peace. Peace to you, spider too. I'm going to leave you be and go the other way. Good morning, everybody. So this is Tuesday, October 10th. And just, it's just, oh, sorry. I ate another spider web. This is just another small video of the flooding in Texas. This is shocking. I don't know if the picture does it justice, but this is actually the park. And there is a sidewalk down there and there is a park down there. But this is as far as I can get. And if you look around here, this is a bridge walkway that goes over the normal part of the river. The normal part of the river, the highway patrol guy told me, is just that middle part right there. So I asked why the bridge walkway was so big and he said because you actually walk over the park, not just over the river. And then over here, you can see in the park, right there, I don't know if you can see it very good, there's some of those little wooden things. He said that's actually a thing to play on in the park that has been flooded. But yeah, the highway patrol was out here yesterday because they were a little concerned about me staying out here. But here's all the flooding. And... I'm staying way up there, so I should be okay, but I just thought I'd take a picture of this flooding in Texas because I've seen some flooding in Arizona before, and I actually saw it go over the Tempe Mill Bridge back in the 70s, but I've never, ever, ever seen anything like this, and it, I, I have to say, in all honesty, it looks beautiful to me, but to these people here, it's not, but it does look beautiful to me. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna walk down here a bit because it's just those are trees. They look like little bushes just sitting on that muddy water. But they're actually big trees. Trees about as big as this one that's up on the hill with me. But anyway, they said I should be safe up here on this hill. But I had to stop because of the rain, and after the rain followed this fog, which is pretty dense and then the humidity, and then the mosquitoes, and then the spider that I videotaped yesterday. But look, there you can really tell because you can see those big trunks coming out of the ground. But he said that he believes this water right now is 12 to 14 feet deep. It's usually only about four feet down in that middle part. It's really known for fishing that you know when it's a smaller river so there were a lot of people out here last night uh fishing in it i don't know if they caught anything but there was a lot of people out here last night fishing in this river because they said even though it rises the fish still come and it makes them higher up here's a nice little picnic area oh, i guess i should say that i'm at the wichita falls information center and see here's a little trail that now I'm going to go on. And this trail is above what's way down there, which is really like a sidewalk walking trail. And this trail that I'm going to get a little closer to, let you look at these trees a little more before I get a little closer to it. This trail over here leads down to it where the motorbikes and stuff can go. Or where they can't go, I'm sorry.
Oh, and he told me not to get too close to everything because there's snakes out here. I do have my shoes on and I'm from Arizona so I'm used to hiking where there's snakes are. But I don't know what kind of snakes are out here or how aggressive or not aggressive they are. So I'm going to listen. I have to tell you the highway patrol guy was wonderful yesterday. Okay, so that says no motor vehicle or horses. Absolutely no motor vehicle or horses. An outgoing trail. So this outgoing trail leads all the way to an old YMC camp, he said. And then over here is a trail that goes down and through the park. And there's the trail sign, but I can't get to the other side to see it. But this is really just how flooded this is. And I guess this is, ironically, part of the Red River. And that's why it looks so red right now. Because <laughs> it's mud, but it's really, really, really super high. See? There you go. And see? Back in the back, you can see my little RV. But I thought I'd videotape some of this flooding for you. I'm going to go back up this hill because this goes on and on and on forever. But I didn't want it to get too boring. I just wanted to show you this place called the Red River and how it's flooded. Through here, you can see it over here somewhere. Oh, actually up a little further by the YMC part is where that spider was. But there's actually a lot of spiders because the sidewalk, this sidewalk over here, that leads up and down the freeway part. Look at that. You can't even get down in there. But you can actually tell through there a little bit more that it is a park because I didn't know it was a park at first. I really thought this was how the river worked. But see, you can see all the way in there. It really is. He said it's a big, beautiful park. But not today. Not today. Anyway. Peace out, everybody. This is just a picture of the Wichita Falls floodwaters. Bye.